Everybody. At the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum in Colorado Springs. Welcome, welcome. Just before they compete at the Olympics in Tokyo. Coming in to get the job done. And Team USA wrestlers like Colorado native Giangelo Hancock found some time to break away from training and work on some inspiration. A weird sense of inspiration, a sense of a sense of right, you know, privilege. Taking the museum tour to look at Olympic history. It's great to be going down this path that many others have ventured down and, and, and hearing some of their tales and seeing some of their history. A history they also got to be a part of, <gasps> seeing what it's like to compete in other Olympic sports. Wow, great show. Wow. Seven counts. So wrong sport. <laughs> the power of an opening ceremony from the perspective of athletes. When I was like, this is what it's going to be like for me and just seeing the joy on some of these, these athletes' faces. Which, given the COVID restrictions at the Olympics in Tokyo, might be as close as they get to an opening ceremony due to the health guidelines. With its COVID and stuff right now, we don't know what's going to happen, but... Uh... Hey, it's part of the journey, right? But it's a journey playing out in this museum with these wrestlers seeing their names and pictures towering on a 40-foot wall right next to the biggest names in Olympic history. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The first step Jangelo says to carving out his own Olympic path at this museum. I plan on one day being on one of these walls and something people can read about.